from Dublin, my name is Mika. In this bedroom tour, I will be showing you a house in Sutton. It's a six bedroom house. And Sutton is located around 45, 50 minutes by bus from Dublin city centre more or less. But keep in mind that that will depend on the traffic, the time of the day, and what means of transportation you'll be using. Now you have walking distance from the house. You have absolutely everything that you need. You have the bus stop. It's right outside the door. It's around a three minute walking distance. Then that same distance you have the village and there you have shops, pubs, restaurants, supermarkets, chemists, everything that you need. You are also pretty close to the beach so you can always have a nice uh, walk down the beach. And um, that's about it. Let's have a look. Very well. So we begin our tour here in the front door, in the main door of the house. And you walk on in and the first thing that you will find is the hallway. So we have some bedrooms upstairs and we have some bedrooms in the ground floor. So I'm going to show you then the first bedrooms. They are as soon as you walk in to either side. So we're going to start here to our left with bedroom number one. So all of this house and everything in it has just uh, all been done up, so everything is new. And you have a double bed, you've got hardwood floors, then you've got this window that leads to the front of the house, onto a little garden and the street. Alright, so you're probably wondering about this door. This door leads to the kitchen and we're going to see the kitchen in a sec. But just in case you were wondering. And you have the heating right here next to the bed. And that is bedroom number one. Now across from it is bedroom number two. which also has a double bed. So as you can see, it's very, all the bedrooms are very spacious. Have the heating right here. Then you have this window that leads to the front of the house, onto the garden and the street. Then you have this fireplace. I'm not sure if it's uh, working or if it's meant to be in use, but you can always find that out. All right, so that is it for the first two bedrooms here on the ground floor. We're back in the main hallway, in the main entrance. So we've got this hallway here to our right, and we're gonna go down this hallway into the living room. So as you can see, you have a very bright and spacious living room. You have two windows. This is a window slash door that leads onto the garden, onto the back of the house. Then you've got heating, nice comfy sofas, TV, fireplace, got hardwood floors. Okay, so that is it for the living room. And now then we're gonna head back into the corridor. We have the laundry room. Right now there's only a, the washing machine and there's going to be a dryer installed. Okay, right next to it is a downstairs bathroom. This is a complete bathroom. So you have the sink here and the heating. Then the toilet and then the shower here behind the door. All right, 
Now, last but not least is the kitchen. So we're walking back where we came in. And we're going to go see the kitchen. Okay, the kitchen is fully equipped. Got everything that you need. You have, first of all, this door right here that leads uh, to the garden. Leads outside. And you've got the kitchen table. Then over here you've got two freezers, two refrigerators. Then we have the kitchen appliances like the toaster, microwave, the dishwasher right here, kettle, coffee maker, you've got the stove. And over here you've got the oven. And we can take a little peek here at the garden at the back of the house. All right. And then we have this door. That's the one that leads to bedroom number one that I mentioned before. All right, so we've seen everything that we needed to see here in the ground floor. And now we can go up the steps to see the rest of the bedrooms. Very well, so we walk up the steps and this is the hallway here in the first floor. So as soon as you walk up the steps and you turn to your left, you will find bedroom number three. And this bedroom is en suite with a double bed. Got hardwood floors. Then the bathroom is right here. Got your toilet, sink. Got the shower here. And you also have heating inside the bathroom right here. Got the heater here of the bedroom. And you've got the window that leads out to the back of the house onto the garden. Then you have a nice big wardrobe with a lot of uh, storage space. All right, so this is bedroom number three. Now we head back onto the hallway here. We have a few steps. And this is the second part of the hallway where the rest of the bedrooms are. All right, so we turn here to our left. And the first thing that you will find is the upstairs bathroom. We have toilet, sink, heating, and over on this side you have bath and shower. Okay, and we continue walking down the hallway and we will find bedroom number four. And this bedroom is ensuite with a double bed. So the first thing that we're gonna see is the bathroom. That's the first thing that you will find as soon as you walk into this bedroom. We have a toilet, sink. Got heating right there. And then on this corner is the shower. So you got a very spacious room here. Got two windows and then this large wardrobe. Got heating in either side of the bedroom. We got heating over here 
and then right over there. And since you have two windows, then one leads to the back of the house onto the garden, and the other one leads to the front of the house onto the street. So we have our wardrobe right here. Very spacious. Yeah, then the other window that I mentioned that leads to the street. Okay, so that is it for bedroom number four. We head back into the hallway. Then to our left, we will find bedroom number five. And this bedroom also has a double bed and a sink. Got the wardrobe right here. So you have a sink inside this bedroom. I find that houses from a certain period have sinks inside the bedrooms. Which is pretty handy, I suppose. Right, so you got the wardrobe right here, then you got heating right here alongside the window. The window that leads to the front of the house onto the street. Alright, so that is it for bedroom number five. Now we continue walking down the hallway. Then we have this little bedroom right here. Well, it's not a bedroom, it's more like a storage space, I suppose. It's really um, nothing at this moment. So I reckon it would be a good place for storage or any of those other things that you might be able to come up with. So now, last but not least, we have bedroom number six which has a double bed as well. Got same hardwood floors. This one also has a sink there in the corner that I'll show you in a second. Got a nice big wardrobe. You got the sink right there. right here. Everything works perfectly. Then you have heating. It's right here by the window. Then the window leads to the front of the house onto the street. And that brings us to the end of our tour. And uh, well, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. But if you have any further questions or queries, just send us an email and we'll get right back to you. And I will see you in my next tour. Bye.